We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Uh oh. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> we decided to go and just cut it wide open, cut it straight down the center, and take a look at it. Okay, so we're out here today, and we had to do some testing on our timber frontier that is made out of solid walnut. And we decided, what the heck, let's try and see what happens to a carbon fiber barrel when we put a thousand rounds through it as fast as we can. So that's what we're about to do. We got a thousand rounds of 6.5 Creed, 140 grain, ELDMs loaded up, ready to go. And we're gonna start shooting them as fast as we can and uh, to see what happens to this carbon fiber barrel and get the testing done on our timber frontier stock. So on top of being a carbon fiber barrel, we also do have a, a Lone Peak Titanium Razor action on here as well, which is gonna be interesting to see how that works because most titanium actions have been known for uh, not holding up well to a lot of uh, rounds. Generally meet, deemed to be a more of a hunting action, uh, you know, only a, really a few rounds a year type of thing. So what we're gonna do is measure temperature on the barrel out of curiosity, we've got a thermal setup that can tell us what the temperature is. One other thing we're gonna test on this as well is gonna be the speed of these rounds, see if they are speeding up or slowing down once the barrel starts getting hotter. With carbon fiber and the, the resins that they use to bond that carbon fiber together and to the barrel, if you inhale any of those fumes, it's gonna be bad. So do not do this at home. We went and made sure we got the right respirators, right cartridges, and that's why we're not gonna go and cook any bacon on this barrel today as well. Because we're wearing these masks and I can't actually get a proper cheek weld, uh, or chin weld on the scope or even look see to the scope. Um, so we're actually not gonna check it for accuracy this time. It's just gonna be a matter of seeing what it does for speed and seeing what it does for heat. Okay. That rod's nice and hot. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> it peaked up over 500 degrees and it seemed to stay up in the high, like mid to high 400s quite a bit. I was expecting it to do something, some more, like possibly start to melt the resin, but I have no idea what temperature that actually happens at. My understanding, all the different carbon fiber barrels have generally used different resins. The main thing that they use the same as carbon fiber, but the resins are super secret to them. The titanium action seems to be good. I don't see any issues. Like it kept on running clean the whole time. I stopped and greased it a couple times just because I was didn't want to destroy the lugs or gall the lugs. The only thing that was odd was that I was getting a lot of jammed cases. I'm not sure if that's an issue from the thickness of the steel being thinner than it would be on a normal steel barrel and then having the carbon fiber reacting differently to the heat in the metal. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. I don't really want to put this in the back of my truck stinking hot like it is. So we're going to go and put it in the snow and see if we can cool it down a little bit. The carbon fiber is actually not nearly as hot as the metal. I thought that carbon fiber was going to be a lot hotter than that. But the metal, you can see like, before, when I was touching it, it, it cuts right through this. But like, it doesn't do it on the carbon fiber. Yeah, this, yeah, wherever the metal's showing, it's extremely hot. So the carbon fiber is not nearly as hot. So after running the thousand rounds to this carbon fiber barrel, uh, we were really interested to see what the inside looked like. 
um, see what kind of damage was done. So uh, we decided to go and just cut it wide open, cut it straight down the center and take a look at it just to get a little better look. With your bare eye, you really can't see a whole lot. You can definitely see where there's a carbon ring at. You can obviously tell where the chamber is, where the lands are, uh, lands and grooves are, and where that all is. Overall, with your bare eye, it looks fine. So we went and actually took a boroscope just to get a little better look at it. You can really see there's quite a bit of fire cracking in this barrel. It is very obvious, lots of copper buildup, lots of fire cracking, you know, for the first four to six inches, which is definitely normal for what we put this barrel through. And also we had shot this barrel before this test, so it was not a brand new barrel. Overall, yeah, there's damage. We fully expect there to be damage. It, it appears there's no real damage to the, the interface of the carbon to the actual steel. The adhesion's still perfect on the carbon. So obviously this is a pretty extreme situation that we put this barrel through. We were forewarned that, you know, possibly it will gas off at the temperatures that we're going to reach. The majority of people will never get a barrel to even close to that temperature. So as a normal shooter, definitely no issues with carbon fiber and shooting it at regular speeds. Overall, pretty impressed with this carbon fiber barrels and um, definitely shoot them with confidence so it's not melting.